fucking god, it is here! The 2015 Old School RuneScape Halloween event from Mod Roman Noodles, October 29, 2015. Is it me or is it really too close until Halloween? Why the fuck, Old School team, didn't you create this shit a week before? I kind of thought Jagex was racist against the Halloween event or something like that. Anyways, who really gives a rat's ass is here, and I love doing Halloween events on RuneScape. So there's a problem! The anti-Santa Claus has claimed Gilinar, and we must stop him before the evil Monmarkians rule the planet of RuneScape. We must all head down to the portal found south of Falador. Once you arrive, talk to Grim outside and he'll tell you exactly what to do. The prizes are basically like anything else. As you see, you'll get two pumpkins, two something I don't know, something I don't know, scythe, pumpkin mask, full teleskin, a black Halloween mask, and it does not appear that we are getting a Halloween mask set. Actually, <laughs> I'm a dumbass. This is the Halloween mask set right here. So basically all the shit you get for completing the Halloween event and also the previous Halloween music, anything that you missed from last Halloween event, you'll get today. So let's hurry the fuck up and go down to old school uh, little South of Falador little portal. So just like any other Halloween or any other Easter, any other Christmas, any other holiday event on old school or modern day RuneScape, you don't have to be wearing anything! You can show up to the gangbang naked! Yes, as long as you come to South of Falador, you do not need any weapons, gear, or items equipped on your sexy and awesome bald body. Alrighty then, so this is going to be a little voiceover, which means I recorded these clips, and now I'm talking as I'm watching myself do shit on RuneScape. So as you basically saw, actually, let me first off start by saying, I'm doing a 24-hour live stream Saturday. Was gonna make it Friday into Saturday, but I kind of decided to do a little Halloween live streaming in general. So I'm doing a 24-hour charity type live stream. Not going to tell you guys what I'm going to be doing because it's going to be a little secret as for RuneScape. However, the charity that I'm doing the live stream for is the Jimmy Fund. Uh, they're a really, really good charity. We, we've raised so far about $3,100. And the total of my charity live streams that I've done to, in support of cancer research and cancer treatment. And for, especially for cancer patients. And hopefully this live stream we can raise maybe a little over a thousand to go ahead and donate to them again. Anyways, as you're basically pretty much seeing on the screen, we enter the portal. What should you do? You should talk to Death. Yes, the almighty and powerful Grim Reaper. He will give you a Halloween outfit and tell you that you need to get the anti-Santa out of his house. Because if you don't, well then bad shit's gonna happen. So, as you basically see, you wear the Halloween costume, you go through the doors, then you see the fat little anti-Santa there. <laughs> He's so big! <laughs> so, so big! So then again, you have to talk to him and realize that he's not leaving. Now, on the ground is his dirty laundry, which I just picked up right then and there. Now, if you notice on the upper portion of the screen, it says anti-Santa's uh, suspicion. If you click too many wrong answers, he will expel you from the house, which kind of really sucks. So make sure you don't get expelled from the house, otherwise it will just be really, really bad in general. And as you basically see, I'm at the tool shed right now, outside. Make sure before you go downstairs to grab all these tools, such as a tinderbox, some coal, or some damp coal, a mop, and a hammer. And then go ahead and make your way downstairs, choosing the option you're looking for the toilet. Yes, anti-Santa will believe you if you're looking for the toilet, or if you ask him, you need to use a shitter. Probably to use massive diarrhea after eating Taco Bell. Today I tried the Volcano Wrap from Taco Bell. It was pretty delicious, but boy did it give me goddamn heartburn. No massive pooping, just heartburn. So anyways, use his dirty laundry on uh, the furnace, and you notice that all the icicles have melted. Go back and talk to Death, and he will tell you that to piss off anti-Santa, we now need to make this place really, really smoky and foggy. Hence, comes in the option and ability of basically pretty much using the damp little charcoal in your inventory. So, what you're going to do after you talk to the Grim Reaper, is you're then going to go to the fireplace, not the furnace downstairs. 
Go to the fireplace, use the charcoal on the little thing. Anti-Santa will be very tedious and you will give the option that you're trying to fix the temperature because he's too hot. And you will notice little 3D graphic runescape effects. Ooh! Old school runescape is high definition. Then go ahead and talk to the Grim Reaper once again. He will then tell you what, well, you will then ask, what do you do now? And he will basically say that he is very lazy and you need to get him out into the graveyard. So what's one way you can get someone out into a graveyard? Well, you can tell them that there's a gangbang happening. That might motivate some guys to get the fuck out of their computer chairs and go outside. You can also say there's free money! You can also say there's a free hat! Free hat, cha-cha-cha. Free hat, cha-cha-cha. Free hat, cha-cha-cha. So anyways, go to the refrigerator, open it up, get five little vials, go outside, and you're going to catch five little ghosts or ghouls. This is extremely easy. It does not require a high level of an IQ to do this. If you find difficulties in this, well then you probably should be playing Maple Story and not fucking RuneScape. Disclaimer 101. Any holiday RuneScape events, if you have a hard time with, please play Maple Story. Do not do RuneScape because it will hurt your brain. I'm sorry, you have a small penis, I mean peewee brain, and you shouldn't be playing RuneScape. Anyways, use the goddamn little vials or the little jars on the cauldron. And then go and talk to the uh, Anti-Santa. Or actually, I think I talked to the Grim Reaper. It's not wrong if you talk to the Grim Reaper every single time. However, you could choose to skip all that shit and just basically go and talk to, you know, uh, Anti-Santa. Anyways, go and talk to Anti-Santa. Tell him to go out into the garden because it smells delicious. And he doesn't really look like an Anti-Santa. Oh, this part's funny. Bum ba da bum 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 ba da bum 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 ba da bum 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 ba da bum. His belly jiggled all night long. Outside he goes. Now we are free. No, not really. So in order to be completely done with the little quest, we have to turn in to Call of Duty Nazi Zombie Slayers. That's right. We have to do some planking. No, we're not going to do some P90X. And we're not going to fucking go to the gym and plank our balls off. However, we are going to do some Call of Duty planking. Yes! So, how do we do that? Well, we have to barricade some windows so the Anti-Santa doesn't actually come in. Hence why you should have a hatchet. I believe I don't have a hatchet because I believe I was running around with my head chopped off a little bit. Anyways, in order to get the hatchet, you actually have to go to the tool shed, um, which is located over there. No, where the fuck is my character going? Hello, dumbass Nightmare RH character, where are you going? Okay, don't do what I just did. Go to the fucking... Yes, get nails. Yes! There is a purpose to my madness. You must get nails. Plain and simple. I think I tried chopping down a tree without a hatchet. It doesn't really work out so well. Yeah, I need a damn hatchet. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't want to take a seat over here. Um, yeah, the hatchets are located over there. So basically, go to any type of tree and uh, start chopping shit down, and uh, it will tell you how many logs you need. You need six logs. You can go ahead and destroy any other shit that you don't need, such as the jars, because they may take up inventory space, and I highly recommend that you do. Go over here and use it on the coffin uh, table saw type table-ish and stuff like that. And uh, then go inside and start playing Call of Duty. Yeah, Who would have ever thought... Nazi zombies would be incorporated with uh, the Jags Corporation. Or rather, Activision. Who the hell makes Call of Duty? Microsoft? Activision? Fuck! I just played Black Ops 2 like not too long ago. I'm pretty sure it's Activision. Okay, well, Activision, Jagex, I don't know. They might be sleeping in bed together to make, uh, to make, uh, Jagavision. Yes! Activision sleeps with Jagex. Jagavision! Oh my god, I just invented a new word. Jagavision. Jag, not Activision. Jagavision. Everyone say it with me and leave some nasty dirty little comments. Jagavision. Jagavision. It sounds so good. Alright, so one for the final thing you must do is you must mop up the place. So, the mop that I had you guys get before 
go ahead and mop up all the puzzle puddles. Now, if you have, um, well, let me just say, if you're a dumbass, sometimes like myself, you may forget a puddle. And I literally stood here for five minutes wondering what the fuck to do, but it's in the kitchen. And you can actually see it on the mini-map if you look directly up. So, once you do all the puddles, then talk to Death again. He will give you a reward, or, you know, the Halloween mask, the pumpkins, and shit like that. And, um, quest complete, or rather minigame complete, or rather holiday event complete, which is pretty awesome. Alright, so what do I think about this, uh, holiday event in general? One, I love it. Plain, simple, down to the point, there's anti-Santa Claus, and the Grim Reaper, and there's a haunted house. It's awesome, I fucking love shit like this, it's very straightforward, it's not something like a ongoing 12 days of Halloween, like modern day fucking RuneScape and shit, Mod Mark Vision. This, this is, this is what RuneScape is all about. I remember doing shit like this years ago, and I remember how wonderful it was. Anyways, guys, remember 24 hour charity uh, cancer support live stream on Saturday. Thumbs up this video if it helped you in all, and let me know in some nasty, dirty little comments what you guys think. Otherwise, see you guys later. Bye!